Hi, I'm Josiah. And I'm Colin. And this is Worth Watching. We've got to get out of here! We've got to get to the chopper! Yeah, what about me? I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the movie that we'll be reviewing today is Escape Plan, starring Sylvester Stallone and, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, and what this movie is about is about a guy played by Sylvester Stallone who is an expert at escaping from prisons, and that's actually his job. His job is to go around the country to maximum security prisons and break out of them and then tell the owners what's wrong with the prison and how to fix it to make the prisons inescapable. That is his life's career. However, one day he gets this job offer to go to this ultra-secret, ultra-high security facility that is not on the books yet, no one knows about it, and try to make sure that that one is absolutely escape-proof. However, he soon finds out this is a big blackout operation. He has actually been set up by someone, and he needs Arnold Schwarzenegger's help to get out of there. So what did you think of the movie? You know what? It was fun. It kind of reminded me yeah. of Two Guns a little bit. Obviously, I wasn't expecting it to be a you know Oscar award winning movie <laughs> no. by no means. But, I mean, it was just really fun and entertaining. The acting, actually... I it was pretty good. I mean, what else do you expect from Schwarzenegger and Stallone? Right. I mean, in they're an 80s yeah. action movie. I mean, come on, but it, it was tolerable. Yeah, I, I think it, it fit the movie well. It worked it did. just fine. And it was yeah. a little rusty, but obviously Arnold got significantly better towards as the, the end. movie went on. Yeah, yeah it started out a little rusty feeling, yeah. and it kind of got better as it yeah. went on. I mean, and I think a lot of the a lot of the supporting characters really stole the show. Some of the times you have a lot of really great actors in there. You've got Jim Caviezel, yeah. uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Sam Neill, who was great to see in something again. And it was kind of funny just because Jim Caviezel as an actor is far more talented than <laughs> Stallone or Schwarzenegger. Right, so it was yeah. almost kind of funny to see him have to almost take a step down in his acting level. Right. I, I, th I think he still played his role fantastically. Oh, fantastically. He, he plays the sort of the psychotic warden yeah. of this top secret prison. And a lot of times when you have people playing these psychotic characters, they're really yeah. thrown over the top and they're sure. goofy and running around all over yeah. the place. But he kept it very subtle and just had these little quirks. He had quirks. a very calm composure. Right, these very little quirks that just kind of gave him this sort of unnerving edge exactly. that was very realistically yeah. portrayed, and I thought he did a good job. I did, it. too. Being yeah. at the starred Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger, there's going to be some, you know, good 80s throwbacks in there. You know, what were sure. some of your favorites? Um, you know, there are a lot of them, but I think probably the, the one I got the most enjoyment out of was the one where they uh, did an overview shot of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he, he takes the machine gun off the helicopter, pulls the pin out, and he's just muscling the thing, and he, you know, yeah. he's got the real intimidating face, and he he's just got the, He's got that Arnold He's got the face. Arnold. He's <laughs> gonna <laughs> kick some butt, and he just lights yeah. him up. That was... I, I mean, I there, there were people that. in the audience just clapping oh, when yeah. he started doing that. Yeah, I mean, too. like... It's Arnold. He's back. Yeah, it, it was a great. That's probably yeah. that was probably the moment of the film where I'm like, Arnold's back. Yeah, you know? Arnold. That that is the Arnold. Yeah, that, you know. So they definitely had some. Prob I'm sure they had some fun in yeah. reliving their glory days a little bit. Yeah. One thing I have to give the movie credit on is the pacing. I mean, the movie's almost two hours long, but it feels like it's just oh, an hour and a yeah, half. It did I mean, not. It, it's very effectively paced. It starts kind of slow and keeps mm -hmm. building as it goes through. Just very sure. effective. Winding the tension as it yeah. goes. It wasn't a it was boring real. slow. Not at all. It just you just you just ratchet up. As you go, yeah. perfectly paced movie. However, the editing kind of fails in scenes. There are scenes where it yeah. feels kind of choppy, cut together. Um, that, you know, there are these reaction shots that don't really seem to fit yeah. with everything else. Just and kind then, of cheesy. Yeah, and there's a scene in there, I don't want to give it away because it's a spoiler, but there's a scene in there where there's this explosion um, and stuff happens, and it's just the worst CGI yeah. I've seen in a really yeah. long time, and very unnecessary exactly. CGI. They, it looks that. It was some close-up shots, too. Yeah, they had a couple explosions that were far enough you know, that seemed far yeah. enough back where it was tolerable, but, but some of the really close stuff, you're was, like, ooh, that's yeah, bad. Yeah. One of my biggest <laughs> things was really, um, they didn't give a backstory to Stallone. Like, why... They wh did, but it wasn't explained well enough. It, yeah, it just wasn't explained well. It, did it have to be? Not really, but it, it kind of, it you know, yeah. it was, I would say it was a little bit of a downfall towards the movie. It just didn't give you the, the reasoning on yeah. why he did. What, they did mention something a little bit. It's not that they didn't. It just wasn't explained well, I didn't right. think. I would agree. So what would you give the movie on a rating of A through F? You know, um, I'd give it a B. Definitely a B. You know, it was fun, entertaining. I had some good laughs out of it. Yeah, so I mean, I would, I would give it a B as well. I think it's a good return. You know, it's, it's great to see Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone it was. together. It yeah. Um, it definitely has some flaws, though. Um, but it's it's definitely worth it's, seeing. It's anyway. worth it's going to yeah, watch. It's, it's great just to see these two guys back in action together. Yeah. 
you know, it's it's great. Yeah, get the yeah. old buddies from college back to together. Yeah. You guys go out and watch the movie. You all have a blast. Yeah. So leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye.